This just broke at InfoWars.com right now and PrisonPlanet.com, our mirror backup site. J.P. Morgan executive becomes fifth banker to die in last two weeks. Now, by the way, that's top bankers. I, I was doing some math last week on this searching. I, I, I found like 20 bankers in the EU, England, and the U.S. that are very mysteriously falling into the water, being found dead in parking lots, uh, shooting themselves in the heads, jumping off high rises. Some fear spat of deaths or spate of deaths linked to imminent financial crisis. This is very suspicious because these are all like super high level, but still comp trollers above the highest level. Looks to me like they're getting rid of where the bodies are buried uh, ahead of something. And of course, the, the criminal investigations of J.P. Morgan and the, the fines they and others have been paying their chicken feed. Uh, Gerald, you've always got your ear to the ground. You're a big consultant to Washington Chemical Companies, you name it. I know you've been following this. How does this tie into everything? What does your nose tell you is going on here? Well, when you look at the real numbers, you've had just in January, you had an outflow of probably about $12 you know, billion dollars, uh, uh, out of the, or much more, out of the um, uh emerging markets, I mean, tens of, probably a trillion. Yeah, that's what's happening in Turkey, all over the place. Yeah, as a matter of fact, in Kazakhstan yesterday, they just devalued the currency by 20%. And you don't have to be a trend forecaster or a mathematician or an economist to figure this Quantify out. Quantify that. There's a race to devalue worldwide. Yeah, what happens is that all of the tape, all of the stimulus pushed a lot of hot money into these emerging markets. It's called a carry trade. You borrow it real cheap, you bring it to a, another place where you're going to get a lot more for it. It's as simple as that. Now, with the tapering, that money's flowing out. But when the money flowed in, it built the economies of places like Turkey, like Brazil, like uh, South Africa. It kept pumping up all of India. So now, as the money flows out, what they're trying to do because their their currencies are crashing is they're raising interest rates to protect their currency. Brilliant. Now, let me get this straight. Your economy's going down. You, it's getting worse. Your currency's being devalued. And to save that currency, now you're going to raise interest rates to make it even more expensive to borrow. Brilliant. That'll really help the economy go way down because that's what's happening. So now, as I mentioned, they're either devaluing or raising their interest rates. The net result is the same. Recessions turn into depressions. Now, going back to the biggest story, we just saw the dog and pony show yesterday on I got a, you can't call her Fed chairwoman. She doesn't like that. Fed chair yelling at, at the, the house meeting. That's good. Say it how you, how she says to do it or you're bad. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, we'd call it an Italian faccia brut, but we won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but I could call you that. But anyway, the, she went on, let me set the scene. The markets are crashing a week and a half ago, all over the Dow, the, the, the all over the world, the, the Asian markets, the DAX in Europe, all of them are going way, way down every day, every day, every day. Everyone's waiting for Friday. Now, this is a fact. Everyone was waiting for Friday to see what the job numbers would be. So the job numbers come out. The consensus on Wall Street, we're going to have 189,000 new jobs. And they got this guy over there, this shill that they're always quoting in all the newspapers everywhere, this Mark Zandi. He was up to 170,000. He comes in, the numbers come in, there are 113,000. The estimate on the streets, 189,000. Zandi said when the September, December numbers came out at 74,000, and anybody could look it up. It's gone. It's, you could Google it up and on uh, CNBC back in December. Numbers come out. Oh, I, these numbers. No, no, they're wrong. They're wrong. They're going to be readjusted. I, I pay no attention. They ask them, how much is the December number going to be pushed up? 
Oh, 200 K. Okay. 200,000. So now remember going back to last Friday, now they readjust the December numbers. December numbers come out. They readjust them. It went from 74,000 to 75,000. Now you look at the market. Boom. When the numbers came out at 830, the, the, uh, the expectations were for the market, the pre-market opening to be down. The market opens up, and on the good news of lousy job numbers, the market pumps up and follows through a little bit on Monday. And then Yellen comes out, Yellen bloody murder, and she says that they're going to keep doing the tapering, but if things get bad, there'll be some quantitative easing. The market shoot up more. On what? Not on the fundamentals, because here's the big lie, or I should say cover up, that the Fed chair said. She makes a point of saying how great the drop, the number dropped from the high unemployment rate of over 10 percent down now to approaching 6.5. What she failed to acknowledge in all of this BS that no one called her out on was, hey, Miss uh, Fed Chair, the reason the number went so low is because of all those people that what they do now in the USSA is once you're unemployed, once you're no longer getting benefits, once you can't find a job, you're not counted as unemployed anymore. That's why the number went down. So now, today, the markets are down, what, about 30 points as we're speaking, 36 points. There's nothing to drive the markets up. There's only pressure to drive them down. Now let's look at gold. Since the beginning of the year, gold has been steadily increasing all of the time. And now it's approaching the 1300 mark. Now I want to make this clear. You made it real clear when you said the markets were rigged. And um, what I'm leading up to is that we know the Forex market is rigged. That's the market which trades currencies. I'm not making it up. It's a fact. At the point of, by the way, they're trading each day $5.3 trillion. Well, look at LIBOR. It just goes on and on. LIBOR. Now, here's some of that guy, Jim Cramer, that's always on CNBC. This was reported on Yahoo yesterday. Here's the headline, so everyone knows that I'm not making it up. Jim Cramer, yes, the market is rigged. Yes, the market is rigged. Symbols are powerful, and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire, by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit MadeIn1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty.